It's this week's Money Minutes. Ryan Payne, Courtney Dominguez. And we're here on my roof deck, which is, what a fantastic view, Court. It's a great one. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and since we're, ta- since we're on my roof deck today, what we want to talk about is the pros and cons of, do you buy real estate right now or do you rent? And I think the one thing you have to look at we talk about a lot court is just it costs a lot of money to own real estate especially here in new york city exactly yeah Yeah, because you can't just simply say okay here's how much a mortgage is going to cost on a certain price of a house versus here how much is going to rent there's extra costs of owning for example and here in the northeast we can definitely attest to this but real estate taxes can be very high and that's going to get tied in with your monthly costs and your homeowner's fees, your condo's dues. If you're living in Manhattan especially, those can be pretty extravagant. And they don't go down over time. Condo fees continually go up over time. It's my experience. And you looked at this, right? For your, your apartment you have here, you looked at renting versus buying, right? Yeah, that's right. So I did, and I found that to own the same place that I'm renting right now, it was double the carrying cost. That meant just the cost of owning was double what it was to rent. Now, conversely, if you go to a place like Philadelphia, where my brother lives, it's actually cheaper to own each month to pay the the cost of ownership were cheaper than it costs him to rent right now. That's a sign that's probably a better buying opportunity than a place where it costs you double to own than it would to actually rent. Exactly. Yeah. I also hear the argument a lot of people say, but I'm throwing away my money every month by renting, so shouldn't I buy even if it's more expensive? Well, you're throwing the same money away, right? Because if you're in New York, for instance, you're paying your real estate taxes every year. Remember, the interest that you pay on your mortgage is front-loaded. So those first couple of years, you're mainly just you know paying it towards interest, not principal. Yeah. Um, along with, again, you pay condo fees, depending on the building you live in. Uh, you have those insurance costs every year. So all those things could add up to the same amount that you would pay in rent. And at that point, you're pissing money away as well. I didn't say that on air. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but I think the point is it definitely depends. I mean, different different neighborhoods here in New York City, it can make a big difference, especially different cities. New York versus Philly is completely a different question, let alone very different parts of the country. So it really depends on your situation, the areas you're looking in, how much you're looking to put towards a place. So click on the link below. You can talk to one of our advisors here and we'll run our calculator to decide for you, does it make sense, should you rent or should you buy? And there's a subscribe button so you guys can get our weekly information to keep you guys up to date on everything happening in the markets and in your financial life. And as always, be Be bullish. bullish.